The psychologist David Benner once said, the problem isn't so much that we tell lies, but that we live them. Every day we are assaulted by lies about who God is, who we are, what the good life we all crave actually is, deceptive ideas that play to disordered desires in our own chest that are often normalized in the kind of echo chamber of culture at large. And if we come to believe those lies, if we put our trust in them, if we let them into our body and live as if they are true, they wreak havoc in our soul and sabotage our peace. Jesus, in one of his most iconic teachings, said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. He was simultaneously saying that we are in bondage to lies. For Jesus, at the root of the problem of the human condition that he came to rescue and save us out of is a captivity to illusions about reality. In this book, I do my very best to help you, the reader, recognize the lies that play out there in the culture wars between left and right, but even more importantly, in here, in our own mind and imagination and memory, from our family of origin or trauma or experience or dreams or the narratives we live into that distort our human personhood. Martin Luther King Jr. once said that inside all of us is raging a kind of internal civil war for our soul, between truth and lies, the flesh and the spirit. But the good news of Jesus is that internal war, that struggle we all feel in our own body, it doesn't have to be a tug of war, a lifelong kind of war of attrition where you never feel at peace. Through Jesus, you can come to peace. You can live no lies.